Elon Musk's latest schedule shared on X has revealed something very striking. While many people thought Tesla's number one focus would remain on EVs or maybe even Cybertruck expansion, the truth is different. Tesla's real priority now is none other than Optimus V3, the humanoid robot project that Elon Musk has described as potentially the most important product in Tesla's history. From late-night engineering reviews to long hours personally checking the design of the new AI5 chip, Musk is not treating this as just another product. He is directly involved in nearly every detail, from hardware integration to production planning. In fact, reports highlight that Musk recently dedicated more than 12 straight hours in one stretch just to meetings about Optimus V3's production strategy. That alone tells us something huge, Tesla is putting more energy into Optimus than ever before. Before we dive deep into this story, please take a second to help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It means the world to us and will keep us motivated to continue bringing you the very best updates about Tesla bots, Tesla EVs, and all the breaking news in the world of Elon Musk. Just click that subscribe button now and join the Tech Drive family, you won't regret it. So, the big question is, what exactly is Tesla's latest plan for producing Optimus V3? When Elon Musk said that Optimus could actually become more important than cars, he wasn't exaggerating. What he meant was that this robot is not just about building another machine. It represents the creation of an entirely new industry. Optimus V3 is no longer just a futuristic prototype shown off at AI Day. It's Tesla's first real attempt to mass-produce a humanoid robot at scale, applying the same tough lessons it learned during the EV ramp-up era. Right now, Tesla already has hundreds of Optimus V2 and version 2.5 units being tested across internal environments. Some are at the Fremont production line, others at Tesla's R&D hub in Palo Alto. These earlier prototypes helped Tesla learn balance, motion control, and durability. But version 3 is different. Optimus V3 has been designed as a pre-commercial product, stable enough to actually enter limited production, not just lab tests. Multiple sources confirm that Tesla has already dedicated a section inside Gigafactory Texas to build a pilot Optimus line. Even more interesting, Tesla is reusing and retrofitting some Model Y assembly equipment to cut costs and speed up the timeline. So, how many units can Tesla really produce in the initial phase? Industry insiders suggest that in 2026, Tesla will only manage to produce between 1,000 to 2,000 Optimus V3 robots. That may sound small when compared to Tesla's EV output, but in the robotics world, it's a huge step. This early stage is not about volume, it's about validation. Tesla will use this run to fix hardware flaws, refine the AI, polish the software, and prepare for the big leap forward. Think about how the Model 3 scaled, slow at first, then shooting upward like an S-curve. Optimus V3 could follow the same trajectory. First a few thousand in 2026, then perhaps 20,000 to 50,000 in 2027, mostly to logistics companies and retail environments. By 2028, production might hit 200,000 to 300,000 units per year as Tesla expands in the US and possibly opens a new robot line in Mexico or Europe. And after 2030? That's when the ambitious target of 1 million humanoid robots annually could actually become possible. At an estimated price range of $20,000 to $25,000 per robot, Optimus could become a massive revenue generator. Imagine hundreds of billions of dollars annually coming just from robots. But of course, challenges exist. Customers in the early market will hesitate. Spending tens of thousands of dollars on a first-generation humanoid robot is not an easy decision. Tesla might face return or cancellation rates as high as 15 to 20 percent in the beginning, similar to what happened when the first smartphones launched. They were often considered beta products for brave early adopters. But Tesla has one powerful advantage that changes everything, over their updates. Just like Tesla cars, Optimus robots can receive software improvements remotely. Bugs can be fixed overnight. And as hardware improves in subsequent batches, Tesla can quickly roll out refined versions. Thanks to this constant iteration, return rates could drop to below 5% by around 2028, when Optimus becomes a much more mature product. The official unveiling of Optimus V3 is expected in late 2025 or early 2026. And unlike earlier demos where the robot just waved or walked awkwardly on stage, 
this unveiling will focus on real-world tasks. Expect to see Optimus arranging warehouse inventory, lifting objects, maybe even helping with household chores. Marketing will likely follow the Cybertruck playbook, with Tesla opening online pre-orders requiring a small deposit, perhaps $100 to $500. This generates instant publicity and also raises capital for scaling production. Now, here's where we place another quick reminder, if you're enjoying this journey into the future of Tesla and want to keep watching the most exciting updates, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join the Tech Drive family and help us push past 20,000 subscribers. Together, we can keep this community growing strong. Market demand for humanoid robots is still a question mark. But studies by Boston Consulting Group predict that between 5 to 7 million humanoid robots could be sold worldwide over the next decade, mainly in logistics, healthcare, and service industries. If Tesla grabs even 20% of that market, like it did with Model 3 in the EV world, we're looking at sales of 1 to 1.5 million robots by 2032. At an average price of $22,000, that's $22 to $33 billion in annual revenue, not counting extra services, maintenance contracts, or premium AI packages Tesla will surely introduce. But let's not forget the hurdles. Right now, the supply chain for humanoid robots doesn't exist. Think about it. Complex robotic hands with dozens of tiny actuators, knee joints designed to bear loads like a car's suspension, there are no suppliers making these in bulk yet. Tesla has to build nearly the entire ecosystem from scratch, which takes serious time and money. On top of that, regulations remain unclear. If a humanoid robot causes an accident, who is legally responsible? Tesla? Or the customer? These legal questions could slow down adoption until lawmakers catch up. Still, if we look back at Tesla's track record, there is hope. Remember how the Model 3 went from a tiny pilot run to the best-selling car in the world? That same S-curve could apply to Optimus. V3 is just the beginning. Later versions, V4, V5, will get cheaper, stronger, and more capable. The key milestone will come when Tesla gets the cost of Optimus under $15,000. At that price point, we're no longer talking about a niche product. We're talking about a mass-market robot that could exist in millions of households worldwide. A big part of making Optimus possible is Tesla's AI5 chip. Elon Musk himself has been personally reviewing its design. This isn't just another chip off the shelf. It is Tesla's brain for both full self-driving cars and humanoid robots. Why is that important? Because Optimus needs to process massive streams of sensory data, vision, sound, balance, touch, all at the same time with almost zero delay. A regular processor wouldn't cut it. Latency would make the robot clumsy and unsafe. The AI5 chip solves this problem by offering massive real-time computing power while still being energy efficient, which is crucial for a mobile robot. After all, if Optimus had to recharge every 30 minutes, it would be useless. Tesla learned from EVs that true performance only comes when hardware and battery systems are perfectly balanced. AI5 is built exactly for that. Even better, AI5 connects directly with Tesla's giant AI training center, Colossus 2. This data center is what trains not only Tesla's FSD system, but also Optimus. By processing billions of real-world scenarios, Colossus allows Optimus to improve continuously, not just through pre-programmed instructions. That means Optimus won't just perform tasks. It will adapt. Imagine Optimus helping in a household, clearing the dining table, but then noticing a child running dangerously close to a hot stove and deciding to prioritize safety. That kind of real-time judgment requires exactly the kind of power AI5 provides. Elon Musk personally spending long hours reviewing the chip proves how critical this is. If Tesla relied on Nvidia or other suppliers, they would never have full control over optimization. By designing AI5 in-house, Tesla gains both technological and financial advantages. Costs are shared across cars and robots, making each chip cheaper to produce. That cost reduction flows directly into making Optimus more affordable. And let's not forget the versions that brought us here. 
Optimus V1 in 2021 was just a concept, barely able to stand. V2 improved stability but was still for lab use. Version 2.5 added over 200 refinements, with stronger joints and a more durable shell, finally allowing real-world testing. All of this data collected from V1, V2, and version 2.5 has been feeding into Tesla's AI training. That's why V3 is not just a better robot physically, it's also smarter, carrying lived experience from every version before it. The plan now is simple. Tesla will likely first use V3 robots inside its own factories, stress testing them in real production conditions. Once validated, Tesla will then release limited batches to outside customers. Just like cars, scaling will take time, but the long-term vision is massive. Musk has said it repeatedly, Optimus could one day generate more revenue than cars. We've reached an exciting moment in Tesla's history. Optimus V3 is not just a machine, it's the first step toward a new industry, where robots might one day be as common as smartphones. And if Tesla succeeds, it won't just change its business, it could change society itself. Thank you for spending your time with us. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep following every update, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Tech Drive. Join our growing community, help us reach our next milestone, and never miss out on the future that's unfolding right before our eyes. Until next time, stay safe, stay inspired, and keep driving forward with Tech Drive.